So, I thought it would be a good idea to talk about why I wanted Sonic Adventure Remake. Since defending this remake is really an unpopular topic, and in that case, it really makes me sad. Because this remake has a lot of potential in my opinion. So, before we start the riot, just know that this is just my opinion. Anyways, with that said, these are the reasons why I wanted Sonic Adventure Remake. Well, before I talk about my first point, just so I'm not hating on Sonic Adventure. A lot of people used to like this game when it first came out. Heck, some people still do to this day. I'm going to talk about that later in the video. Even though I do like Sonic Adventure, and I still do to this day, that doesn't mean it still has its flaws. A few examples to this is the dialogue, which made me cringe a few times while I was playing Sonic Adventure. There were some parts of the dialogue that I liked, but there are other pieces of dialogue that made me cringe too, like I said before. Most cringy dialogue probably came from the fact that Sonic Team just translated the dialogue from the Japanese to English without the English translator having to correct the sentence that, that much. A problem I have with the dialogue is that I think some of it shouldn't be in the game. Some dialogue is just some random noise the characters make which is part of the reason why I cringe you at. What made me cringe even more is the animation. I don't need to explain this in detail because if you play Sonic Adventure, you'll know what I'm talking about. Another flaw I have with the game are its glitches. The original version, aka the Dreamcast version, didn't have as many glitches as the ports. For some strange reason, as Sega started to port Sonic Adventure, the game has gotten more glitches. The reason probably why the fact that Sonic Team had more stuff in the ports that wasn't in the original, like their graphics. Talking about the ports, they did worse in the original version to fans and critics, even calling it a glitchy port. The problem with the ports was that it was glitchy, which was something I stated a few seconds ago. The port wasn't tested that much proof with glitches and many more stuff like their animations and stuff like that. <coughs> now, most of these problems are many more problems could be fixed by a remake or a sequel. And yes, yeah, Sonic Adventure did get a sequel, which is something I want to talk about my next point. Anyways, one reason why I want Sonic Adventure remake is because I could possibly fix a lot of stuff that was wrong with the original version. A glitch, says someone in the comments, since Big the Cat was a problem in the original Sonic Adventure version, will he not make an appearance in the remake? The answer is no. The reason why he says this is because of one word, that word being remake. Now if you want to know what that word means, which most of you guys should know what that means, but if you don't, then we must break the word down. The word re means do it again, and make means build. So if you add those words together, you'll get remake, which means make it again. When it comes to a remake, the people who are making it will improve it, take out all the bad stuff that was wrong with the game they're remaking. But while they're trying to do that, it doesn't change too much, to the point where it's not even a remake. So don't think that this Sonic Adventure remake or game will be different to the other Sonic games, since they'll be changing the graphics and the controls. Heck, they'll probably change the problems I listed earlier. Now, before I explain, let's take a look at the adventure era. In this era, we have games like Sonic Adventure, which was a really good game when it first came out, but over time, gotten worse with the ports. Second Adventure game being Sonic Adventure 2 was a better game to fans and critics because the game improved on stuff Sonic Adventure didn't improve on. That Sonic Adventure 2 was the best Sonic game at one point. Then everyone had to bash the game because it didn't age well. The same happened to Sonic Adventure 1, by the way. And after that, Heroes came along, and it was a different game than every other Sonic game. And a lot of people hated it. Sonic Team decided to make every other game different which caused some games they made to get hate, while others gained life. And since the modern era didn't do as good as the Dreamcast era, I could see why they went back to the Dreamcast era, since it did kind of better than the modern era. So 
Bill Fitz's modern fans. Flying Adventure 2 was once the best flying game, so it's improved on the things the first one did wrong. So then, what about the remake? Well, if the remake does be good, it'll be better than Flying Adventure 1 for sure, so it's not going to allow Flying Adventure's flaws. This game will probably bring some new features that Flying Adventure doesn't have. But hey, what do I know? There isn't that much proof that this game exists, nor we haven't seen any gameplay for this remake. This is Glitch, and I'll see you next time.